welcome, 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 welcome to the Tonight Show, everybody. You're here. Let's get to some news. Uh, well, guys, this is exciting. Tomorrow morning, Congress will hold its first hearing on UFOs in more than 50 years. <laughs> yep, now that all the problems on Earth have been solved, on to UFOs. <laughs> we... Since 2004, 144 people have called a, in a UFO sighting. 144 sightings. That means you have a better chance of spotting a UFO than a Home Depot employee. <laughs> Anyone here? Anyone here? Oh, just forget it. Any, uh, anyone? Anyone, anyone? I have to check out myself? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I understand how this works. What? You guys see this? Uh, Jeff Bezos and the White House have been going back and forth on Twitter after President Biden blamed corporations for inflation and Bezos blamed Biden's stimulus plans. Yeah. Now Bezos is going to buy Twitter from Elon Musk just to ban Biden. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fine. Yeah, things are getting tense right now. The CIA is spying on Bezos, and Alexa is spying on Biden. <laughs> uh, that's right, it's Amazon versus the government. So now we know how the drone war will begin. <laughs> well, on Saturday, former President Trump held a rally in Austin, Texas, and he said pretty much what you'd expect. So instead of showing the same clips that you've seen a million times, we're going to try a new piece called Trump with no context. Enjoy. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell spent his weekend in Ukraine where he met with President Zelensky. Can we see a photo of them? Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> Zelensky looks like a guy meeting his new stepdad for the first time. So. <laughs> I'm not calling you dad. Well, this is big today. McDonald's announced that after more than three decades in Russia, they're selling their business and completely leaving the country. It's sad news for Russians, who will now probably live 20 years longer. <laughs> right now, a Russian guy is frantically sprinting to McDonald's to try and redeem his Monopoly stickers. Please, I just got Baltic Avenue! I just got Baltic! <laughs> some more business news. I saw that the candy company Mars Wrigley has recalled some varieties of Starburst, Skittles, and Lifesavers because they could contain metal. Actually, Mars didn't call the, recall the candies. They just relabeled them all jawbreakers. <laughs> Some travel news. I heard that the TSA is bringing in more agents to prepare for the summer vacation rush. That's great, but it's not very comforting to know that a TSA agent is considered a summer job. <laughs> you can go. 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 Yeah, you can go. That's right, they're, they're starting to hire now for the summer rush. We're two weeks from June. <laughs> Guess the training is basically, here's the wand, enjoy. Uh, <laughs> by the time you're done training, you'll know how to say this lane is closed in six different languages. <laughs> hey, this is fun. The University of Oklahoma just signed a new player, and his name is pretty unique. Check this out. The Oklahoma Sooner has got a JUCO transfer quarterback. His name, General Booty. Yeah. <laughs> General Booty. <laughs> it's such a proud day for his parents, Pirate and Shake Your. Uh... <laughs> General Booty. Booty, yeah. I have a feeling his first word as a baby was, why? <laughs> yep, he signed a play at Oklahoma. It's nice to hear about a booty call that actually ended in commitment. <laughs> Hey, get this, a teenager in Philadelphia just broke a 57-year-old record after running a mile in under four minutes. Ooh. And in response, his classmate was like, all right, so I'll take that as a no. You don't want to go to prom with me. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> hey, finally, guys, it's time for pros and cons. Here we go. Pros and cons, pros and cons and pros. Now, tonight, we'll be taking a look at the pros and cons of JetBlue buying Spirit Airlines. 
It was just announced that JetBlue is attempting to purchase Spirit Airlines. Yeah, this could mean a lot of changes to the way we fly. So let's take a look at the pros and cons of JetBlue buying Spirit Airlines. Here we go. Pro, JetBlue is offering to buy Spirit Airlines for $33 a share. Con, Spirit is like, heck, you can take the whole plane for $25. <laughs> Pro JetBlue promises to bring all new features to Spirit airplanes. Con, like pilots. <laughs> You're gonna want those. Yeah, I think I mean. Pro, now the two airlines can join forces and get back to doing what they do best. Con, inventing new ways to charge for luggage. <laughs> oh, it's too small. <laughs> it's too small, you gotta pay $5. It's small luggage. It's got a handle. Yeah, oh, it's a wallet, yeah. <laughs> Pro JetBlue is attempting to purchase uh, through a hostile takeover. Con, a hostile takeover is how Spirit describes their boarding process. <laughs> I am Baltic! I am Baltic! Pro JetBlue wanted to sit down with Spirit Airlines and make a deal. Con, Spirit doesn't do seats. <laughs> Everyone just stand and hold, <laughs> hold the pole. Uh, <laughs> Next. Go ahead. <laughs> you can go ahead. <laughs> you can go ahead if you want. Wait, you, you wait, can fly, wait. You can fly it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> wait, stop. Where'd you get those shoes? <laughs> Pro Spirit stockholders have a lot of questions. Con, like, how drunk was I when I bought stock in Spirit Airlines? <laughs> Pro Spirit stock rose in anticipation of the merger. Con, it's the first time anything from Spirit has ever gained altitude. Oh, yeah, they did it. <laughs> and finally, Pro Spirit and JetBlue will be combining forces, con to create Spew Airlines. There you have it. Those are the pros and cons. We have a great show. Hey, hey.